Morning YouTube, Thumbbone Fishing with another uh, MX restoration uh, video on the uh, Suzuki and the Honda with getting parts. Talked about some parts in some other videos, but this is just what the trouble I've gone through to try and get the correct OEM parts uh, for the Honda build, for the 92, and the things that I've learned along the way uh, about um, the different models and stuff, etc. And I just you know, I was, I knew and I read all the stuff in the day about these bikes, but when you start going back through them, you realise there's a lot of differences to things and, and uh, changes of parts and colours and stuff. So the 1992, if you remember, if, it, if you were there back in the day, was a very, very high pinky salmony colour, which I believe they changed from 92 because they faded so much. 93, they went to a different red. I think it was 93 or 94. 93, I think it was. Might be wrong. They changed to the different red, which is more of the brighter red. Um, this colour would nearly represent what I'm looking in my light. Maybe the 92 colours from UFO. Uh, it doesn't look that nice, bright red. It just goes to show you. So this colour off the UFO make on the forks see the deep crimsony fluoroby red. And then this is more of a pink. You can probably see that difference there. Maybe, maybe not. So it's UFO, UFO. This is the colour that they made in the 94s. I'm assuming this may be more closer to the 92s. As far as I know, they don't make a different colour of the UFO. They just make this one plastic. It does say 92 on the back of that. I doubt they make 92, 93, 94, but this seems to be the colour. So this is the seat. Uh, this is the third seat cover I bought. This one's off a... Uh, a dealer from eBay that I buy part uh, covers through. It does good products, but this one here is totally not the right color. So disappointed with that, but it doesn't matter. You learn by this. And then I've sourced uh, the throttle jockey one, which I've fitted, and it's an. I knew it was a gripper seat before I bought it. It's a beautiful fit, beautiful quality. It's hard to see on there, but that is. It is a different color. If I was having it as a rider, I think I'd probably have that seat cover on there. And then I found this off eBay out of Italy. Now this this colour here is, is if you looked, if that was on there, actually I won't do that, I'll show you a different way. So that there is almost going to be as close as you're going to get to the nuclear red. In that colour. So this here it was shout out to Eric uh, for selling me from Perth in Australia. He had some a genuine 94 Honda front plate and got into contact with him. He got in contact with me, had one, and that is it. That is a Honda front plate, which is rare as. So thank you to Eric for selling me that because it's going to make the build really nice. So there's going to be the build. So you can clearly see it's a different colour, but... It's genuine and I think it's the right shape, so I'm gonna stick with that. But look at that, if you put it to compare it to the UFO front plate, it's identical. So disappointing about this UFO's uh, the, the front guard I have. It's like they've already faded since I since I bought them. Yeah, not sure about that anyway. But yeah, the, that front there, that that's pretty much spot on to the genuine colour, which is great. So maybe I have have an old stock and it's just faded already. I don't know. A bit disappointing. UFO, if you're watching, send us out some new good shit. So you can see this is from uh, whatever the era that was when the UFO made those instead of this shape because maybe there was a, some sort of stuff going on with building that. I shouted out to, reached out to UFO um, during this process on their websites they don't make this style in this color so I, I emailed them out and said would you be interested in making this style in the 067 color they said yes so I had to buy 70 of them didn't really want to buy 70 of them so I asked on the socials people were interested and then a bloke reached out to me from the UK and he they do make them. They have made them before. For obviously, maybe someone else um, had got a build done. So I bought this from the UK. Uh, it was on its way before that I got the one off Eric. So there you go. 
and there is the part numbers and everything there. I'll get that closer. Just goes to show they do make it, or they have made it. Part number, that's it all there. And that is the nuclear red in that style. So I'm not gonna use this one. I may resell it. I'm not gonna even open it. I'm gonna use the genuine one because the genuine one is um is what I'm looking for, the genuine shape and everything to try and get as close as the OEM. So yep, I have bought that as turned up. So that, that's the difference if I'm gonna show you between the ones that the UFO do it, they've got a little lip on there and the genuine ones are rolled over like that. All right, so we've talked about the Honda and where we've gone with that. Oh, and the reason that I um, got on Eric, because I was actually after an airbox. The airbox I bought for that Honda is the wrong model. Little me being not realizing, I bought the say 96 model one from America and restored it. And then I bought the plastics and realized that it was the wrong part. Same shout out to Eric for selling me this one, which is the proper one that that's filled in there. You can see there. So he's done, this is really good condition. Super impressed that Eric sold me this. Um, I'll clean it, I'll, go, I'll change, clean that boot up. That's, that's not even an issue that, to clean that up. Give this another polish up, whack that on. So the correct, I've got the correct air box now, which is great. So that's come from the same seller. And so that's the Honda. That's, oh, that's the Honda. A um, few other parts for the Honda have turned up this week. I've got the genuine little Honda logo and a the sticker that came comes on the back back guard. That's the other sticker there and the logo. The logo was I think there. This is another logo on the Honda tank here. It's Honda logo. And I'm going to stick that there. I believe that's where it was. And then I'm chasing the, I'm going to get the 1992 sticker that goes there. Got the forks and other parts. So the Honda's just a sec second job at the moment. The Suzuki is the priority. And this is what's turned up this week for the Suzuki. Genuine front plate. Uh, springs for the radiator shrouds, which will let me lessen there. I bought a set of radiator shrouds off eBay for 60 bucks. Then decided to look up the Suzuki and they were 22 bucks brand new. So definitely, definitely look for genuine first if you're after an OEM build before you chase second hand. Only then when it's not available, then look elsewhere. So gen all this genuine bolt nuts for the engine bolts. Genuine, genuine pins. I didn't want to get them re zinced because they'd been damaged. I've got them all new. Engine bolts, engine bolts. The reason I got engine bolts is it never had engine bolts. They've put uh, uh, Mitre 10 bolts in it. New springs, the springs were stuffed. New springs for the foot pegs. New covers for the front brake. Chain slider, genuine. I even got the throttle grips. This is the throttle. I've got the grip coming too. It hasn't turned up yet, but the genuine Suzuki grips. Got the genuine Suzuki fuel hoses, radiator hoses, radiator overflow hoses, uh, exhaust springs. So, and I've already put a heap of parts on the Suzuki, um, which is already turned up. So I've already put on like the brake stuff last week and the new bolts in there. Got the new this new coming. So chasing down parts. So you can see the effort you have to go through to get the right part. Well, I've had to go through just to get all these parts. Even this bolt, this bolt wasn't available. The engine bolt was no longer just discontinued. So I bought this bolt from the USA. And yeah, you can probably just get it from a hardware shop, but it has the genuine number seven in the end. So that comes from the USA. Yeah, you, I think I paid about probably $45 by the time that landed here from the USA. But they were $38 from Australia anyway, so it wasn't that extra, much extra. I new cable guides, Suzuki cable guides, and I've already put a heap of parts on. Pull the rims apart this week to get clean these up, get these ready to go. Chasing down some spokes, and how disappointing is this? Pull the rims apart, started cleaning them. Come back. Two days later, the rim is split. 
not happy. Not happy at all. So now I've got to either chase up another second hand one, go down that road, chase up a second hand one, go down that road, restore it, or do I rip the band aid off and get an OEM one? I don't want one that says, um, like XL on it. I want to try and get one that doesn't. The bike never come with XL rims, they come with a DID rim like that. So they're about $500. It's going to cost me about $250 for an XL one, it's $300 nearly, and it's about $500 for a genuine one. So they'll rip the band aid off and pay the extra, get a genuine one, probably. Well, I haven't decided yet because more money. But this is what you want to build, this is what you want to do. It just takes longer to build, that's all, you just can't get it done as quick. I'm trying to chase genuine spokes down if I can get those. Uh, Matthew come home yesterday with this, this deal. Bought this off one of his mates, uh, who no longer wanted it, 2018 model. Believe it's got a blown fourth gear. And so, Matty decided he wanted the 250, 2018. I'm gonna get in today and give this a good clean up for him. He's on night shift, he's doing extra overtime, to probably pay for it. So I'll get in today and give this a clean up for him, give it a good washing and uh, yeah, I'll do a, it'll come up, it'll come up mint. I'll get it on me elbow grease and me, or me know how into this. Genuine Yamaha silencer, still in the packet. Genuine Yamaha pipe, still in the packet. Because these models in 18 come with the GYTR pipe, then I can get that dinette, no worries. I'll blow that in, blow that out for him. And I'll blast all this pipe, give it a, all the rust off it, oil it down. It's had, a, it's, like it's had a bit of a dent or bend in there. We'll sort that out, straighten that up. Looks like, oh yeah. The subframes looks like it's had a maybe a bit of a cock eye with that but we'll get that straight that's no issue yeah a few scratches out i'll give those a buff you can get all plastics for it he'll probably encourage him to buy all new plastics while they're all still available for this so we keep this as an oem bike as well have a look at the rims are stuffed on it all the anodizing comes off the rims see all the blues stuff so if you want to make it look nice you'll get new rims for that or you could maybe strip that, maybe blast that off, possibly, and have it as an aluminium rim for spares. But yeah, to bring it back to OEM, you definitely have to buy um, one rim. I want the front one's good, it'll clean up, but at least one rim. Give it a little clean up, all the radiators are good, so another good build for the shed. I'll get into some of that today. Got a fair bit going on in the old Thumburn HQ. Got the linkage barons turned up for this today, so I'll start on that. All right, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. Just talking about pretty much about the parts and all the genuine parts that I've um, so I've already fitted the heat to the bike, but this is what turned up this week. All the little bits, yeah, the right, you know, they're just the right colors. Some aren't, some things weren't, like I said, the clips and other ones, but just good to have the right stuff. Just I know it's the right stuff, so it's only about me, really. <laughs> Now it's the right stuff. All right then, thanks for watching. It's hot as here in North Queensland. It's muggy as again, probably get another shower of rain. It's uh, the build up season, the wet season. We haven't been getting the rain, but the storm's been here and man, the sweat just rolls out here. All right then, thanks for watching YouTube. Rightio, so this is the next day, just putting all the Suzuki parts on. Got the front plate on. Uh, the cable guides, shock is in, all the linkages are in, cleaned all the linkages up, got the seat sitting better. Yeah, it took a good part of half a day to, to get all that uh, sorted. Got to order some the right size, the right bolts now. Going through the other parts of the bolts I can get from Suzuki. And this afternoon, I was just changing that cover that I spoke about earlier in the video. This is a throttle jockey cover. And I just wanted to show you, just because I'm doing an OEM restoration, that how the font... Hang on, I'm going to fold that up for this. Just bear with me. The font from the cover from Italy is the exact same font 
as this 2004 CRF 450. So it's definitely like a replica. I've sat it over the top of it. It's spitting image. Same length, same riding. Uh, so maybe they had a cover when they had it, but it's definitely a replica. I'm not sure how big. Uh, this is the throttle jockey one that I've just taken off. Oops. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Trying to hold everything with the phone. Just want to show you how the one. Um, the throttle jockey one is different riding. I know it's the throttle jockey one. If I was still riding the bike, I'd have the throttle jockey one. Definitely. It's a nice grip, nice grippy cover. Uh, built to last. I'd, if I was doing a like a McGrath replica, I'd have the throttle jockey one. But this REM build, this is um, this one from Italy, has the right font and it looks like it's the right size riding at the back, whereas this one's a lot larger. So I'm just talking about being REM correct here. This is another bike I'm going to restore a 2004 CRF 450. I'm going to restore and keep him. Because it's the first generation of the 450s, or 02 was. It's just still first generation of that bike, so just got it at a good price off one of my good mates. And uh, yeah, going to keep it. Clean the, clean the uh, baddies yammy up today. Give it a quick clean up. Pipes were rusty, but just give it a quick clean over today. Get it So it's respectable to sit in the shed, 2018 model. Yeah, so that's today's uh, effort at Thumbburn HQ. Just thought I'd share that with you about the covers. And um, yeah, so the so the one from Italy is definitely, I would say, a closer to OEM replica, and it's definitely, I'd say, closer to the proper colour for the um, genuine. I might get that cover out. It's a genuine Yamaha. Ah, fucking Yamaha Honda front plate, '94, and she is as close. Hard to see with the light there, but it's very, very close. Look at that. Very close. So super happy with that. Can't wait to get it on. Put that on this afternoon. Add on to this video. Um, add on to this video. See how she looks when I'm just playing with it. Just had enough playing with Suzuki for now. Now uh, I'm waiting for more parts and yeah, so spent most of the day on that yesterday. Just playing around with the Honda. This afternoon, okay, thanks for watching.